Didn't see you there. I'm Lindsay, and this is Safari Week. For a sunrise safari, I was thinking we talk about the safari ecosystems. So safaris typically take place in the savanna. That ecosystem is a grassland. But what about the ecosystem that's here at sunrise? Ecosystem at sunrise has a lot of things that we're gonna talk about, like sun, soil, water, air, and let's make our own ecosystems using things that we have around our own house. So, we're gonna make some bottle ecosystems today using some things we have around, probably in our house or around outside, and this is gonna be a self-sustaining ecosystem using just a few materials. So, to make it, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need some bottles. I'm using the two liter soda bottles. You can use other types of plastic bottles. I'm also interested to see if you can use any sort of glass bottles, really get creative. We're recycling these, so we're using them for a different purpose after we're done using them for soda. So I made sure to clean out all of the soda out of here and wash them real good. So I have two of these. And then I also have a marker because I'm gonna draw some lines where I'm gonna cut my bottle. I have some tape, some clear tape. I have a scissor and I have some dirt. Now, I got this dirt right from my backyard. You can use whatever dirt you have, if you have potting soil or anything like that, because we are going to plant some stuff into our ecosystem, and it's gonna be self-sustaining. It's gonna get the water from the ecosystem, it's gonna have air at the top, and we're gonna start it from scratch using just a couple things. So, you can plant some seeds in there. I'm gonna try to plant some basil or marigold seeds, we'll see what I end up planting. Um, but you can also get some plants from outside or just put in some dirt and some other like grasses or things like that and put it into your bottle. The last thing we're gonna need is some string, so just like some cotton string. And I will show you what we're going to use that for in a little bit. We are also going to need a, a thumbtack to poke a hole in our bottle cap. If you don't have a thumbtack, you can also use something that's small and pointy. Make sure to ask an adult for help. We're gonna just poke a small hole in our bottle cap and I will show you how to make this thing right now. So the first bottle we're gonna take and we're gonna cut along the top. We're gonna do a line about, oh, I would say like a little more than a quarter of the way down. Mark this line on this bottle and then we can have an adult help us cut off this top of this bottle, just around like that, using a scissor, and they're gonna end up with two pieces, and it should look something like this. For our second bottle, we're going to cut along a different line. We're gonna cut along the bottom of the bottle, so we're gonna cut along the foot of the bottle, just along that part. And we don't actually need the foot of the bottle, so we can get rid of that once we cut that off. We want just this top part of the bottle like this, and it should be pretty long, just like that. Make sure to save all pieces of your bottles except that bottom part of the bottle, the foot, like I said before. Um, so you should end up with three pieces here. You should have the majority of one bottle without the feet, and then you should have this bottle that's cut at the top with the longer part on the bottom. So our water layer is gonna go in the very, very bottom, and we're gonna put this part in the, we're gonna put water in the part of the bottle that has feet still. So the bottom of the bottle is like this. You can stand up and we can pour some water. You can use tap water, distilled water, fresh water, whatever water you would like, and put it into the bottom of the, wa bottom of the bottle. And we're gonna fill it up just about, I would say, to about there with our water level. So now that we have water in our ecosystem, we can start adding our next layer, which is going to be our soil and our seeds we can plant in there. So to do this one, we're gonna take the other parts of the bottle. We're gonna take the bigger part, the one that's a little bit longer, and we're actually gonna use this one upside down. Before we start, we're going to make a hole in this one's bottle cap. So we can take the cap off, and we're gonna make a hole in it. We're gonna poke a little hole in it just because we need to put some string through it. So we're gonna just poke a hole right through the bottle cap. Okay, and once we've got a hole in our bottle cap, you should be able to look through it. It should be a little tiny hole. We're gonna take our string. You don't need a long piece of string. Just 
like that long. And you're gonna thread it through the hole in your bottle cap. It might be a little tricky. You can get it through. Okay, so then you want your bottle cap to be facing with the flat part down. And th thread your string through and you're gonna wanna tie a little knot at the top part so that your string doesn't slip through the cracks and end up just in your water. So you're gonna tie a knot, maybe tie another knot, just so that it stays nice and secure. And then you have your, you can pull it right through and you have your bottle cap with a string in it. Now, we can cut off a little bit of this tail. It's a little long for me. I'm gonna cut off a little bit, but this is actually gonna go back on our longer bottle and we're gonna screw this cap back on so it is nice and secure. And we end up having our bottle with a string dangling down. So, to construct this next part, we are going to put, stick this in head first <laughs> into this bottle. So the string should be in the water. So as you can see, our string is dipped in the water and floating around in there. Awesome, so our string should be wet. And what will happen is the water from the bottom of the bottle will actually travel up the string and go into our next layer, which will be our soil and seeds layer. So for our next layer, I'm gonna take my soil, my dirt, anything you'd like to use that you find, and I'm going to put this in my bottle. Now, make sure your bottle cap is nice and tight closed. No dirt should end up in your water layer. And you're gonna pour it right into your bottle. So you're gonna do like maybe one or two scoops and then we are going to add our seeds. You can add whatever you want in here. I have some of these little pine needles, some grass in here, whatever you would like. And then we are going to actually plant some seeds in here and we'll see if they grow. So I'm gonna take my basil seeds here. So I'm gonna take a couple of my seeds here in my hand. They are tiny, tiny seeds. And I'm just going to plant them in my soil. I'm gonna tuck them in. So once you've got those tucked in your seeds, you're gonna pour even more soil on top. And you can just pat it down until it looks good. So now that I'm done planting my seeds, I am so excited for them to grow in here. The last thing that my seeds need to grow, they have water, they have soil, is air. Now, they're gonna get their air from this water bottle. I'm gonna put this cap back on here, right on the top, like so, and seal it in. Just like that. Now we wanna make sure this is airtight. So I'm gonna add some tape around all of the seams here so that it is tight to the outside air and it just has the air that's inside the ecosystem. So I'm gonna take my tape, I'm gonna wrap my tape around it. But it's nice and airtight. Awesome. Amazing. Make sure this cap is nice and tight and sealed on here too. 
Here is what my ecosystem looks like after a little bit of growth. You have the condensation happening in the top over here because the plants are doing their photosynthesis thing and they are getting all that they need from what is inside this bottle. As I said before, you do not need to water this plant. It is going to water itself. So to take care of it, all you should do is put it into a sunny windowsill or somewhere that gets some sun during the day because that is the last magic ingredient. We have the water, we have the soil, we have the air, and all we need is the sun. So put it somewhere sunny and watch it grow. Thanks so much for joining me. I am really looking forward to seeing what your ecosystems look like. So you can take a picture and post it on Blooms, share with me. I would love to see them as they grow from seedlings into beautiful plants. I am so excited to see them. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Sunrise Association, and tap the notification bell so that you never miss out on a video from us. Thanks for joining, we'll see you next time. Bye. If you're not watching this on the Sunrise Studios app, well, why not? You can download the Sunrise Studios app on your phone or tablet from your app store, and you can watch all of our virtual camp videos the moment they're released. You can also find Sunrise Studios on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, or you can watch it on our Sunrise Association YouTube channel. See you soon.